Welcome back. Uh, I had an issue with the, one of my leading edges that was had a slight warp in it. And I want to show you how I fix a uh, warped leading edge before you go ahead and try to build the wing. You don't want to build a, a warp into the wing. So you want all your leading edges and trailing edges and everything to be perfectly straight. So I'm going to show you the way I fix them. And uh, there's other ways of doing it. You can steam them, there's all, all, all different kinds of ways. But I'm gonna show you my way of doing it, and it hasn't failed me yet. So, uh, hope you like the video. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna have an issue before I start this wing. Uh, this one leading edge is bowed by about I don't know three I don't know three thirty seconds. Why is this dang thing up? By about three thirty seconds, if it, both ends are touching, the steel rule. It's about a three thirty seconds inch uh, gap right there. So I'm gonna attempt to straighten it. I was going to try to steam it, but I did something else on another leading edge that was that was uh, warped, and it worked better. So I'll uh, show you what I'm going to do or what I'm going to do. Here's the other leading edge. It's straight as an arrow. Well, it's straighter, I should say. Yeah, it's, it's close enough to where I'm not going to have any issues with ribs lifting off the table. So my idea is to, because it's a, a gradual warp the whole length, I'm going to measure, I'm going to measure the length of this leading edge. And I'm going to divide that in increments and put it like this in my uh, miter box. And I'm going to take just the width of the blade and every, I don't know, maybe four inches, I'll cut about two thirds of the way through. And then I'll pin this to the board on wax paper straight and I'll wick CA in those slots. And that will be enough to straighten this leading edge up and it'll be strong still. So uh, I'm gonna get set up and I'll show you this. Okay, so as you can see, So as you can see here, if I have this end down, it's warped about, I don't know, from the other end. Looks like about three eighths of an inch. Uh, let me see if I can find my, this one tell me. Yeah, three eighths of an inch. So my idea is to take my miter box and just hold my leading edge like that, cut slits because it's a gradual, it's a gradual curve throughout the entire length. I'm going to cut slits equally like every, I don't know, off the C, I'm going to try like every four inches maybe. Just move it down for, and then I will force that straight, you know, cause it'll, it'll see how it's uh, stretching it. I'll force that straight and uh, wick CA in each cut. I have that option. 
that'll straighten it. I know that will because it's done it before on other airplanes. I think the uh, extra 300 that I built. Or I can try wetting it, soaking it down, force it straight, and let it dry. You know, pin it down straight and let it dry. I might even I might try that first and see see if that works. So we'll see what that's gonna do. I'm gonna use I'm just gonna soak it in warm water. I'm hoping it doesn't force a twist in it when I do that. I kind of like the cutting idea better. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. Now I'm wanting to wet it. If I wet it and let it dry, I won't be filming a video for a few days. So that's my dilemma. That's what I'm working on. And uh, I'll let you know what happens. We'll see what happens, whatever I do. <laughs> Okay, I've got my marks. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna make it cut two thirds of the way through every three inches. And I have this, my metal straight edge up and I put pins at an angle facing this way. So when I force this into compliance, as you can see, it'll straighten it right out. And then I'll pin it on this side as well. Not only will that solve this warp but it's also warping a little bit like that so i'm gonna i'm gonna do my cuts and i'll be back with you to show you how i'm gonna set it up before i glue it Now I might have to go a little deeper depending on what happens when I put this in my jig there. I'm going just past that leading edge. I hate to have to do this, but it is what it is. Ooh, I'm gonna end up breaking this thing.
The cool thing about balsa wood, it's very forgiving. Okay, I have my cuts, and without even without even putting any pressure on it, it's almost straight. So I'm going to pin this in, in place. Wherever the other pin is, I'll pin, I'll pin right next to it. I don't, like I said, not only is this going to fix any warpage this way, or no, this way, no, yeah, it was this way, it'll also fix the bow from going like this. And what, that was very, very slight, and that really, that bow didn't really matter. This will be pinned tight to the tight and flat to the board. But I have to do this before I can draw my center line on the back side. Otherwise the middle would be off by about a eighth of an inch or a sixteenth. Tight to the board and flat. Okay, well I had some spectacular footage of uh, me gluing this, but somehow I must have hit the stop button on the record. So I got all these glued right now. I'm getting ready to unpin the leading edge. It should stay flat to the board and stay straight. It looks to me like it will. So I'll put you on the tripod and show you. Okay, I'm getting ready to take these pins out. It might be glued to that uh, wax paper. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit. I'm going to put some new wax paper down. <laughs> all right, let me see if I can't get all that over. Looks like it did its job, though. Okay, well, just a hair more, but I think I'm going to be happy with that. It's not near what it was. So I'm going to take and smooth this up with the uh, sanding block, and then I'll show you the end product. Okay, I got her darn near perfect. It's probably off 
a 32nd or 64th now. Not enough to even worry about. So, and it's arrow straight right now. I don't know how good you're gonna see that. Okay, we'll see. Looks pretty good to me. Now I'll just throw my center line down this thing. Yeah, it exactly matches the uh, the other leading edge now. Flat. All right, I'll draw my center line and press on. Both leading edges, one repaired and one was good. As you can see, they're both straight. Pen doesn't write on glue, so it'll get me close. And it's sanded smooth. So now I can continue on with the wing build. That's another pro tip. If you have any uh, comments or questions or suggestions, leave them down there in the comment box and uh, I'll read them. Anyway, if you like this type of content, uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and uh, like and share my videos. Thanks for watching. I wanted to add in another little thing. If you if your leading edge is only like warped on one side, like from here on, then these slits only have to be concentrated on that side. And I wanted to correct myself. I actually did that wrong. If your bow is like this, you don't want to slit under the bow. You want to slit on top of the bow. That way, when you pull it straight, these gaps will close up. I ended up filling up a gap that should have been smaller than it actually is. So make sure your, sl your slits that you make are on the outside of the curve. No matter what angle, if the curve's on the inside and it's going like this, make the slits over here on the outside. That way, when you close, when you straighten that up, those slits you make are going to close up. Now, if you're not getting it to close all the way up, make more slits. However many you got to make to get it straight. And then you wick your CA inside those slits and let them dry. And then come back later. And I, what I do is I'll add a little more thin CA and then I'll sand it. And it'll fill in that crack and it'll be smooth as glass. You won't even see that once it's covered. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.